one thing you're sure to notice when walking down the streets of Lisbon is the amount of pastry shops. But there is one pastry in particular, the world famous Pastel de Nata. And I'm off to visit the legendary Pastéis de Belém to find out how they're made. I'm here with Miguel. You are part of the family, aren't you? Yes. How long has it been open? Well, it's been open since 1837. Whoa! So. so can we see where the magic happens in the kitchen? Yeah, I can show you inside the factory, no problem. Let's do it. Yeah, let's go. They didn't know I signed up with this this morning. So is this where the magic happens? Uh, well, the magic actually happens in a different room. Right. Uh, because the recipe has been kept secret. Okay. Oh. Yeah, and only three chefs know how to make the dough and the custard. Uh, this is the room where we work the, the dough. Okay. Uh, at this table here, they, they stretch and cut the dough. And then back here, they will be uh, molding the little pieces of dough to the cup. So it's the handmade process from beginning to end, just as it was uh, back in the 19th century. So how many do you make a day? Uh, we make an average of 20,000 a day. Yeah. That is a lot. Yeah, in the summer we can go up to 40 or 50,000. Okay, so in this big pot here yeah. we have the custards, uh, also made by the three chefs, so the yeah. other part of the recipe. That looks delicious, you just want to like... <laughs> get a spoon in there. I can get you a spoon if you want. <laughs> just don't put your finger in it, please. I won't, I promise. <laughs> I'll behave. So, how many of these do you eat a day? Uh, I don't eat every day, maybe like one or two a week. Uh, every time we get new flour and new butter, we yeah. need to try it. I can't wait to try them, they <laughs> smell so good. <laughs> yeah, you will. Look at that. Ooh. Thank you so much. Thank you. So now is the moment of truth. Here goes, guys. That is delicious. Mm -mm -mm. 